Welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. Should be a pretty quick video here, but uh, friends from church today brought me this hefty bag <laughs> with some baseball cards in it. And they said, hey, we found this. Um, but they handed me the hefty bag and it had this in there with some other stray cards in there. So obviously from the looks of it, looks like some junk here. I uh, figured I'd share this here with you as we go through it. I haven't looked through it yet, so hopefully there's a little, few little gems in the mix there. Uh, I got some here in a in some top some penny sleeves, so we'll save those for the end. Maybe those are the better cards of the bunch. So we'll just grab a little chunks at a time. <clears throat> Vince Coleman, great player. Derek Wallace, Doug Creek, Mike Kingery. Now these are cool. I loved these cards. Made to look like a a credit card. I think there's gold and silver versions of these. I'm not sure exactly uh, if the golds are more rare or whatever, or if it was just different series, but the Barry Larkin gold is definitely a really cool card. Love that. There's a Sheffield. That's a second year card, I think. Uh, looks like his third year, but I think his rookie was 89. Let's see here. I think I've had thousands upon thousands of these ProSite cards that I've gotten rid of over the years. I love the old classic bests. There's some good names that you can get out of there. But none of them are there. those. This John Stark's Catalyst card is really cool looking. It's Tom's Top's Finest. Love that 90s basketball card style super chromey I like that a lot Pascual Perez, Tim Wallach Midre Cummings it's like he's stuck to another card ah the sound of 90's cards coming apart oh it's a Deion Sanders behind there too that was a cool card but it got some surface damage there when it pulled it apart it stinks Rhino, that's a good one Nolan Ryan, Dave Anderson. Say these Donruss 1990 was was not it. Um, these cards. Tom Seaver moving up in the record book. There's a Sammy slamming Sammy Sosa. George Bell was a solid player. Let's see what else we got here. Dwight Good. There's a big hurt. Let's see if I can separate these ones any better. There we go. Another big hurt behind it. As a kid, this was where it was at for me. I loved these art cards. Uh, super cool. Too bad Fleer 91 was a complete train wreck of a set, but uh, those were cool cards that came out of there. Nice Manny Ramirez Hitters Inc. like that one a lot. Ryan Sandberg, but it's got a massive crease right across the middle there. You can see that. Damon Berryhill. Jack Clark. Tim Laker, classic best. Todd Gugiana. Corey Thomas. Tommy Taylor. Glenn Carter. Dan Masteler. Paul Russo. Ryan. Bo Jackson. Nice Bo there. This is that 91 Fleer design that the Maguire came out of. Mark McLemore. Now these Flair, 94 Flair, super thick stock card, very shiny, very nice looking cards. It really is a shame that there weren't better players in these these years to make these cards worth more. Obviously, if you get the Griffey and stuff like that, they're they're worth a decent amount, but uh, these cards are really cool. It's like... It's a nice two-sided insert here. It's got Kirby Puckett on one side. It's the All-Star Game. Got an American League outfielder on this side, Kirby Puckett. And National League outfielder on this side with David Justice. Really cool insert. I like that one a lot. Juan Gonzalez. Ricky Henderson. 
Carlton Fisk. These Pacific cards are so bad. I love the fact that people know that I collect cards and they bring me this stuff and it's just like, we don't know what we have here. We're just giving it to you. Um, this is the way it is with, with junk era stuff. Anything from 1980s, mid 80s to really mid 90s. Unless you've getting high quality, big name stuff like these and a lot of that stuff, then a lot of the stuff is kind of worthless. So Mark Walter was a solid pitcher back in the day for the Braves. Midre Cummings. Here's Roger Clemens, the Rocket. He just pitched for the Savannah, Savannah Bananas the other day. Um, I think him and Roy Oswalt both. Kind of cool. Rhino. And the last stack of them. So There's Brad Osmond. That's a good name. Manager for the Tigers for a few years. Shane Reynolds. It looks kind of like Harold Reynolds. Is that related to Harold? I don't know. Oh, we got something shiny coming up behind there. Jose Zambrano, Sherman, Hunter, Needham, Tim Laker again. Now these Call to Arms cards are such cool cards. Wade Boggs, Don Ross Crusade, Call to Arms. Super shiny, very colorful. And this one is numbered to 250. Now that is quite a good find. Um, I don't even have any top loaders left to put it in a top loader. That is a super cool find. Um, I don't know if I should take it out. These 90s inserts that are serial numbered, if you find box collectors, if you find people that are collectors of this particular player, um, these can be pretty sought after um, just because they are from the 90s and they are serial numbered. So I'm going to get a clean penny sleeve. I'm going to put it in there. There's a lot of inserts in the 90s. Now you can see some damage in the bottom right corner. That's a pretty bad, pretty bad corner wear there. Um, so it won't gem if I send it into grade. But... Everything else looks pretty clean. The surface looks pretty clean. So I'm liking that a lot. Very cool card. Definitely worth the dig here. So let's finish this off here. We have Ken Anderson. Pete Young. Don Ross 92. The Rookies. I don't even know if there's anything, anybody in this set that would have been worth... Well, there's Lou Whitaker, one of my Tigers guys that I collect from the 90s. That was one of my favorite players. Him and Alan Trammell together, and then he had Travis Fryman at third base. That was such a good infield. Cecil Fielder playing first base. I guess the best rookie in that set might have been Matt Stairs. He kicked around the league for a long time. Oh, now we got, oh, there's a bunch of, okay, there's a bunch of penny sleeve cards there at the bottom. Didn't even notice that. So let's get the base out of the way there. All right, we've got the base out of the way. Let's take a look at these next few cards. State representatives. That one is a sweet looking card. You can see the outline of Washington in the background. That one is serial number two. Randy Johnson, the big unit. Definitely a cool find there. Big Bats, Frank Thomas, from score 96. Not numbered, but that's a cool insert. I like that one a lot. Anything inserts from the 90s are just, they're awesome looking. Uh, Sport Flicks, we have the Star Flicks, Frank Thomas. I've had these a lot before in the past. Um, they're hit or miss. Uh, typically, if you're trying to sell them, people don't buy, buy them very much. Um, they tend to have a lot of damage around the corners because they'll peel up, just like what you see happening on this one. Near the corners and edges, you'll see them kind of bow up just because of the type of surface the cards have. The lenticular design is not, uh, is not good over time. 
that's a cool insert. I like that one a lot. These other four that I had sitting off to the side, we have Pat Hankin. This is the Fractal Matrix from Leaf. That one's 1998 Leaf, and it's the Fractal Matrix insert. We do have a Home Run All-Stars David Justice. This is the hologram. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera there. Very cool insert there. I like that one a lot. We have a Gary Sheffield, Top's Finest. Can't really make out what it says. Ooh, Sammy Sosa on the back, Gary Sheffield on the front. I think it says Mystery Finest. Now, this might have been one of those that had the... Um, that had the protective covering on it that was like hidden so you couldn't tell who the who the players were on it and you might have peeled it off to see but that is a pretty cool sammy sosa gary sheffield insert I like that one a lot too i have a buddy that collects sammy sosa so he might be interested in that one let's see andy pettit leaf again 50th anniversary of leaf a cool looking card the surface of it is almost like a matte finish almost like a canvas feel to it that one's serial number two number to 2500 very cool there's some this is a decent insert lot here love this i'm liking everything here this is really cool obviously we have the bogs the pettit the randy johnson all serial numbered ivan rodriguez i have a pretty good size ivan rodriguez collection Pretty sure I have this one in there already. Albert Joey Bell. God, this guy was a freak of nature. He was huge. Hit some monster home runs. Another Barry Larkin gold credit card insert. It's the second one of those. Pretty cool. Put that one by the other one. I think we have a power zone Jeff Bagwell from Top's Finest. You know, for just being a, <laughs> a lot of baseball cards from somebody at church that just randomly brings them into you, um, this was a pretty awesome little insert set. So definitely add to the to the PC. So I love the surface on this one. This is a really cool looking card. This Bagwell is it's pretty. Got a really cool looking one coming here. Heading for the hall, Barry Larkin. And that one too is serial numbered out of 3,500. Cool insert, man. The 90s just did inserts the right way. Last couple cards here. Looks like we have an A-Rod. It's gotta be an early A-Rod too. 1997, so second year I think for him, maybe third year. And then a Craig Paquette. So that was really fun for just a little, just a little jewel case of, of baseball cards. Some excellent cards came out of there. Quick review there. Barry Larkin, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famers. Really cool, big unit insert, state representatives. We got the Wade Boggs call to arms. That one's probably the best one, I'm gonna guess. Um, just because it's numbered to 250. That one's numbered to 250, so super cool on that one. Of course, the, the Barry Larkin twin gold cards there, like that a lot, very cool. And the Pettit was numbered too, so. Quite a cool lot of cards. Thank you guys so much uh, for bringing me these cards and just having me look through them, uh, giving them to me. Very cool addition to the personal collection there. And then these ones will probably just go right into the PC. Trying to add to the, uh, the 90s inserts for my PC just to try to build that up with the Hall of Fame players and the players that I liked to watch back in the 90s and early 2000s. So thanks for watching Zach Collect Stuff. As always, keep collecting, have fun, 
and I'll talk to you soon.